origin of the influential city of Athens begins with the Greek gods looking down at a nameless city from Mount Olympus. The gods were all completely enamored by the immense beauty of this city. But there were two gods that showed particular interest, Athena and Poseidon. As a means of determining who would become the patron god of the city, a competition was held. The requirements were that each god would provide a gift to Cecrops I, the king of the city, and whoever's gift was chosen would become the patron god. Poseidon struck the ground with his trident, causing a spring to shoot up. The citizens were in awe until they tasted the water and realized it was salty and undrinkable. Athena, on the other hand, offered an olive tree. Not only was the olive tree a symbol of peace, it also brought prosperity to the city in the form of food, oil, and wood. Cecrops chose Athena's gift, and the city received the name of Athens. Commonly known as the foundation of Western civilization, Athens is the birthplace of democracy. This iconic city is renowned for its progression of artistic expression, philosophy, and Western culture. In addition to all of this, Athens was known as both an economic and military powerhouse. How did Athens become such a monumental city, though? Much of Athens' wealth came from the Laurian mines, which contained enormous amounts of raw silver ore. This allowed the city to produce enough silver coinage to be used throughout the entire Mediterranean and beyond. In addition to what the Laurian mines were able to produce, Athens also received 600 talents of silver every year as tribute. A talent was an ancient measurement of weight. In ancient Greece, a talent equaled 26 kilograms, or about 57 pounds. Each talent could strike about 1,500 tectodrams. A drachma was an ancient Greek denomination of coinage. The name drachma was used across the span of thousands of years. Even in modern Greece, the drachma was used until 2002 when it was replaced with the euro. Originally, a drachma consisted of six obols, which was a lesser denomination of coinage. In addition to the drachma, there was also the didram, which was a two drachma piece, the tetradram, which is a four drachma piece, and the decadram, which is a 10 drachma piece. The word drachma comes from the verb drasame, which literally translates into I grasp, but was also used alternately to mean a handful or a fistful. The reason that drachma became the name for this denomination was because the standard person could only hold six ovals in their hand at a time. The most popular type of tetradram to collect is the Athenian Al tetradram, which was minted beginning in about 510 BC. Throughout its over 400 years of mintage, this coin has seen some stylistic changes, but has stuck with its iconic imagery of Athena on the Avers and an owl on the Reavers. Due to the image on the Reavers, this coin was commonly known as the Glocks, which meant little owl. In ancient times, these tectodrams were known to be reliable in weight and purity, and thus were the dominant currency of the Mediterranean. These coins were so heavily used that you could find them with almost any merchant from Sicily to India. The tetradram features an image of Athens' patron goddess Athena on the Avers. In this image, Athena wears a classic Greek attic helmet, which is decorated with three olive branches. The reverse of this iconic coin features Athena's unmistakable symbol of an owl. Behind the owl was a sprig of olive, which referenced the gift that Athena had given to Cecrops in order to become the city's patron goddess. In front of the owl is the inscription of Alpha Theta Epsilon, which is an abbreviation for the word Athenian. This word translates into of the Athenians. Ancient coins were minted by hand. That means the coins were literally struck with a hammer blow. This gives them special features like split edges 
and uneven strikes, which generally are not an issue with more modern coinage. Due to the way that ancient coins were manufactured, including the way the dies were cut, the way the planchets were prepared, and the way the coins were struck, no two ancient coins are completely alike, and each coin exhibits its own unique character. Ancient coins are graded differently than modern coins. They aren't graded on the Sheldon numeric scale. Instead, the coins are graded using the adjectival scale. For instance, a coin will be graded extremely fine instead of XF40, or mint state instead of MS60, 61, or 62. In addition to the adjectival scale, there are also categories for strike and surface. These categories are graded on five-point scales. This is because a coin can technically be in mint state condition, but still exhibit a weak strike or a corroded surface. When grading strike, there are numerous aspects to look at. These aspects include centering, evenness, and strength of strike, striking cracks, and planchet imperfections. When grading surface, all factors that occur after striking the coin are judged. This includes luster, corrosion, incrustation, cleaning, marks, hairlines, and scratches. Our Athenian Al tetradrams were struck over 2,400 years ago and have been kept in practically pristine mint state condition. With such gorgeous surfaces and flawless strikes, it's no wonder why this is the most popular tetradram ever struck. Although many of these coins may exist, only a limited amount of these studding tetradrams have been graded in mint state condition by NGC. Don't miss your opportunity to step into the world of ancient coin collecting by adding the Min State Athenian Al Tetradram to your numismatic collection for the low price of only $2,195. Just visit our website, rarecollectibles.tv.com.